is our training video for starters of HSD2 server drive parameter settings. There are four pressing keys on the parameter setting interface from the left to the right. The up key used to increase the values, the down key used to decrease the values, escape key and enter key. When we power on the server drive, it's monitoring the current status. We can see from here it displays R0.0, .0 indicating the existing speed of the motor. Press the escape key to exit the monitoring mode. We need to enter the PA interface if we wanted to change the related parameters. Press either up or down key to find PA and then press enter key to access the parameter settings. The default value of PA0 is 315, which is the password of the drive. PA1 is the motor code. For example, the motor we are using here is S110-040M30. We can find the motor code number from the user menu, which is 53. Then change PA1 to 53. The detailed steps are exit the current interface and change PA0 to 302, press enter key and exit, find PA1 and set PA1 to 53, press enter key and exit. We need to enter the parameters saving interface EE to save what we have just done for PA0 and PA1. After we press the enter key, it displays EE-ACT. Hold the enter key for three seconds until it shows the letter start. It means the parameter saving process started. It displays finish when the job is completed. Please remember to turn the power off and on again to make the saved parameters effective. We powered the drive on again, and let's check PA0 and PA1 to confirm if we have saved the parameters. We can see from here that both of them have been saved correctly. PA2 is the software code of the drive. 2.9120, the first two represents the ampere of the drive. In this case, two is 20 ampere. This parameter is read only. PA4 is the current control mode of the drive. Default value is zero, which means the drive is on the position control mode. PA5 is the proportional speed loop gain. The value of this parameter is related with the load inertia. If the load inertia is twice of the motor inertia, we should set this parameter to 440. If the load inertia equals to motor inertia or even less, we can leave PA5 as is. The default value is able to run with a load inertia between 0.6 to two times of the load inertia. If you wanted to achieve a better control performance, you need to set PA5 properly to match the load inertia. When we finished the parameter change for PA5, the decimal point blinks. Press the enter key and it disappears. This means the setting has completed. PA6 is a speed loop gain. This value has an effect on the running stability of the drive. If the set value of PA6 is being too high, then the inertia of the whole server system is too big. On the other hand, if this value is set to be too small, vibration occurs. We then can increase the value properly to ensure that both the response time and the stability of the whole servo system. We can keep PA7 and PA8 as the default values. PA9 is the proportional position loop gain. The value of this parameter is decided by the stiffness of the drive position loop. It also has an impact on the number of lag pulses of the drive poles. The bigger the set value is, the less the lag pulses will be. Vibration may occur, of course, under this circumstance. In general, 
you may keep P9 as the default value for CNC router and CNC machine tool applications. P12 is the electronic gear ratio numerator and P13 is the electronic gear ratio denominator. For example, if we wanted to set the electronic gear ratio to be 5 and 3, then we need to set P12 to 5 and P13 to 3. Press Enter key to confirm our settings. P14 is the external pulse input type. 0 means pulse plus direction. 1 represents dual pulse control mode. 2 indicates AB pulse control mode. The default setting is 0, pulse plus direction control mode. When we finished all the parameter settings, enter the saving interface EE-ACT, press the enter key for three seconds to complete the saving. When we have done this, make sure we power off and on the server drive again. Now we can see PA5, PA12 and PA13 have all been changed accordingly. Besides, if you have forgotten what parameters you just changed, and this led to the server drive running abnormally, you can bring the default values back by resetting the drive. Enter the parameter saving interface, while EE set is used for safe parameters. EE-DEF is to reset the values. Same operations, press the enter key for three seconds until we see the letter of finish. Power off and on the drive again, and we'll find that all the parameters are back to their default values. This is all the common use parameter settings we are showing today. For more information, please look into our user manual or contact us directly. Thank you very much.